Hey guys, ever since the Nintendo Direct last week, we keep getting more and more news about the new Pokemon that are coming back, and right now it's up to 88 Pokemon that have been confirmed. So I have an article right now that we're going to go through real quick that actually lists every single Pokemon that is confirmed to be returning to the games, and it also breaks down whether it's coming in the first DLC in June or the second DLC, which is coming out November 30th. We have 24 Pokemon that are confirmed to be coming back to the game when that first DLC drops in June, 64 that are confirmed to be returning for the Crown Tundra. Now, every legendary in this article that it says is coming back. Uh, <clears throat> now, this article says that so far, every single legendary that we know is coming back is going to be coming to the second expansion pack, the one that's dropping in November. So it's a little unfortunate that we won't see them in June if this is confirmed, but there might be other legendaries that haven't been confirmed to come back yet that still might drop in that June release pack. I, I think we will get legendaries for the June pack, but right now, it looks like most of the legendaries are coming to that second expansion pack, the Crown Tundra. As I just stated, Game Freak has confirmed there are over 200 Pokemon returning, so the fact that we only know 88 means there's still over at least 112 more Pokemon to be dropped. This is just what we know right now at this point in time. This is an article from Newsweek, and it starts out telling us that the lack of a national dex in Sword and Shield has been a topic of debate. This we know, but it also says the, ex the expansion pass is bringing a lot more Pokemon from past generations. Now, right here, it confirms what I just said, that there's going to be over 200 older generation Pokemon coming to Sword and Shield. And then one thing that we also know, guys, but the article mentions it here, and it is a helpful reminder, it should be noted that players do not have to pay for the expansion pass to gain access to the returning Pokemon. Game Freak did confirm that there will be an update that allows people that have not purchased the expansion pack to trade with people that have so they can get access to the returning Pokemon. It will also be possible to use Pokemon Home to get those returning Pokemon. So you can take Pokemon that you caught in previous generations on your 3DS, transfer them over to Pokemon Home, and then transfer them into Sword and Shield that way. Just keep in mind, you're not only getting the new Pokemon with the expansion passes, you're getting brand new stories as well. Confirming everything I just said, it is unknown exactly how many, besides that it's over 200 Pokemon are going to be returning, but the Sword and Shield website itself has confirmed these 88 Pokemon to be returning to the game. Then right here, we get a nice screenshot of a few of them. Obviously, we can recognize Azuril, Dedene, Zoroa, Lycanroc, Kingdra, Volcarana, and Magnezone coming to the Isle of Armor. So this is the one that comes in June. Those will be returning. And we have a bunch more coming to the Crown Tundra. Unfortunately, we see Garchomp is going to be coming in the Crown Tundra expansion. But let's get right into the ones that are coming in June. Okay, it says fan favorites like Psyduck and Zoroa will also return in June. Here is a rundown of confirmed returning Pokemon in the Isle of Armor. This will be updated with more names as they're confirmed to leading to release, and you can bet we'll cover it on this channel when more Pokemon have been added. So right now we have Psyduck, Golduck, Magnemite, Magneton, Magnezone, Happiny, Chansey, Blissey, Horsey, that's definitely a typo on their part, it says Hosey, just so you guys know, classic comedy, Seedra, Kingdra, Azuril, Meryl, Pika Blue for OGs out there, Zoroa, Zoroark, Larvesta, Volcarana, Fletchling, Fletchinder, Talonflame, that's a big one, Dedene, I know a lot of people that will like that, Rockruff, and Lycanroc. And I'm a huge fan of Rock Rough and both forms of Lycanroc. So unfortunately, those are the only ones we know about. 24 Pokemon that are confirmed to be returning to the game when the Isle of Armor drops. You would hope that each expansion would get at least 100 Pokemon, so hopefully there's still 75 to 80 plus Pokemon to be announced for the first expansion pack. Now we'll take a look at the second expansion pack. A side note before we get into the list, Landorus is returning. However, 
It's not confirmed that Landorus will be usable in competitive or any of these legendaries or mythicals will be usable in competitive. Remember, they can change the rules to decide what comes in. So just because Landorus is coming back does not mean he's going to wreck the competitive scene once again. We have Nidoran, Nidorina, Nido Queen, Nidoran Male, Nidorino, Nido King, Zubat, Golbat, Crobat, Elekid, Electabuzz, Electivire, Smoochum, Jinx, Sphiel, Celio, Walreen, Beldum, Matang, Metagross, Gibble, Gabite, Garchomp, Crygonal, that's a big one, Amora, and Aurorus. The returning legendary Pokemon, I did go over this when my Direct came out and I included uh, screenshots, of course, of all the new forms, including the legendary birds, which will be having Galarian forms. But let me read this list and of course we'll keep the screenshots coming. Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos, Entai, Suicune, and Raikou, Ho-Oh, Lugia, Regirock, Regice, Registeel, Groudon, Kyogre, Latias, Latios, Rayquaza, Uxi, Azelf, Mesprit, Dialga, Palkia, Heatran, Giratina, Cresselia, Tornadus, Thunderous, Landorus, Xerneas, Eviltal, Zygarde, Tapu Coco, Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, and Tapu Finny. Now what this article and maybe some other sources are forgetting to mention is that we actually know about about 10 more Pokemon that were confirmed in the direct via screenshots. If you look at this image here, you can see a few. Now, one of the very obvious ones we're forgetting is Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise, the whole Blastoise line. And also the Bulbasaur line, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. Blastoise and Venusaur were both confirmed to be getting amazing Gigantamax forms as well. And it's going to be pretty hard for people to forget that. So I find it interesting that the article didn't mention them at all, even if it's not confirmed whether they're coming, from the, coming to the first DLC or the second DLC. It is interesting that the article forgot to mention those. If you look in the bottom left corner... You can see that Zekrom and Reshiram are both right there, plain as day. And underneath them, it's very hard to see. But if you know the sprite and the, and the base form of Kyurem, that is Kyurem in between Reshiram and Zekrom, which makes sense. And then to their right, in kind of the center of the screen, cut off at the bottom, are Solgaleo and Lunala. And then to the right of them is Necrozma. It actually did a close-up of Mewtwo at one point in the Direct. So we know that Mewtwo is coming as well. And if you look in the top left corner behind the Crown Tundra logo, you see Mewtwo right there. I was kind of hoping that because they weren't confirmed to be coming to the Crown Tundra, those legendaries might be coming to the first DLC. But if you look at this image, it obviously says the Crown Tundra. So it looks like all the legends that are returning might be coming to the Crown Tundra, which is a little disappointing. Then of course, literally right underneath my face cam is Heatran, and that is the last legendary that is confirmed to be coming. However, we do know that Melmetal and Meltan is also in the code. This, the thumbnail said 88 are confirmed, and 88 have been named and confirmed on Game Freak's website, on Pokemon's website. However, we do know of 10 more, so 98 really have been confirmed, even though those other 10 aren't technically on the website yet. The article ends by confirming the release dates of the two expansion packs, June 30th for the Isle of Armor and November 30th for the Crown Tundra. And the article asks a good question. I'm going to ask you guys too in the comment section. What do you think so far of the returning Pokemon that we know about that are coming to Sword and Shield expansion pass? And what Pokemon are not announced yet that you really, really want to come back? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. And I'll let you know who I'm looking for down in the comment section below. So everyone, thank you for checking out my news update. Remember to stay subscribed and like the video to stay up to date with all the Pokemon and gaming news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one.